Odyssey, Odyssey News, your eye on side. Lloydan Naba here. Bunky City in Louisiana has seen a decline in the population in the last couple of years. An exciting development is underway to bring back people in the community. The first ever Crystal Mosque is being built. Yes, you heard it right. The first ever Crystal Mosque in the world is being built in Bunky City, Louisiana. The builders are urging people to sell and send their crystals to Bunky City to build this Crystal Mosque. Now everyone is on a big scavenger hunt for crystals. Let's call on our expert, Ms. Vala, to give us some information about crystals and where to find them. Only on... Odyssey, Odyssey News. Thank you, Ms. Loijan, and my name is Hala, H-A-L-A. That's what I said, Ms. Vala. Vala, I really recommend you get yourself a hearing aid, honey. It's H-A-L... No, never mind, Ms. Vala. Let's get back to reporting. Can you please tell us about crystals? Are you sure they want to build it in Bunky City, Louisiana? Yes, Ms. Vala, I can read, and it says right here, Bunky City, Louisiana. Are there Muslims in that city? Why are they building a mosque? Ms. Vala, you're the subject expert, and so we ask you to keep your questions to yourself for now and answer our questions on the subject, crystals. We would love to hear all about crystals and where people can find them. I'm sure you can find answers to your questions after the show. <sighs> all right, Ms. Loijan, let's get back to the subject matter, crystals. Odyssey, Odyssey News. Allah has hidden many treasures in this world for us. These treasures are found under the beds of soft soil, deep below the soft sand, within the hard rocks of the world's mountains, or beneath the beds of oceans and beneath the deep accumulation of ice in the Arctic and Antarctica. Some of these treasures include diamonds, gold, iron, copper, crude oil, and of course, crystals. The physical qualities of crystals make them stand out amongst all other rocks. Since their discovery, many people have used them in decorations and jewelry, as semiconductors, in lasers, and many people and cultures even believe crystals have healing power. Poets and authors use imagery of crystals in their writing as an embodiment of purity and perfection. Odyssey, Odyssey News. This just came in. Mississippi and Alabama are in support of the development of the Crystal Mosque in Bunky City, Louisiana. Residents of these states are donating their most sophisticated utensils. Gathering already found and made crystals is a good way to build this crystal mosque. If we were to dig the crystals out of rocks, it will have a bad impact on our environment. I'm not sure if we want the earth shaking so much. Well, of course not, Ms. Vala. I suggest for crystal hunters, just keep looking in your bedrooms and dining rooms, ladies and gents. Did you know that crystal was available for use in making fine drinking glasses in 9th century Andalusia because of an intelligent Muslim named Abbas ibn Firnas. Wow, sophisticated. Fine dining in those early centuries, huh? Abbas ibn Firnas made glass using sand and stone and developed a crystal making industry that used mined rocks and minerals. His crystal was used for other decorations as well, such as a miniature planetarium. What a classy gentleman he is. Abbas ibn Farnas's inventions also included a water clock, corrective lenses, and he also designed a device for cutting rock crystal such as quartz. Wow, crystals have been around for a very long time then. Well, thank you very much, Ms. Vala. It's most definitely interesting facts. My name is Hala. Yes, Ms. Vala, I know your name very well. Certainly, Ms. Vala knows interesting facts about crystals. And these interesting facts are brought to you by Odyssey, Odyssey News, your eye on side. We will be keeping an eye on, on the development of the first ever crystal mosque in Bunky City, Louisiana. And to those searching for the treasures of Allah and the earth, we kindly ask you to please respect its beauty and don't be greedy. Odyssey, Odyssey News, your eye on side. Salam, salam.